G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. In this video I'm going to be looking at some more uh, nursing calculations. Now with this particular video I'm uh, interested in looking at some video, uh, some uh, calculations where we're going to be looking at uh, where doses are prescribed either you know to be given three or four times a day, three times a day, four times a day um, or every six hours or something like this and how we deal with those. Okay, So where medication is prescribed over a period of time. Okay. Um, and we'll deal with these as we go along. I think examples are the best way to deal with these. And I'll give you an example of where this might occur. Um, a child weighing 23 kilograms is prescribed dioxin, uh, 8, mil 8 micrograms per kilograms per day, 12 hourly. Okay, so they're getting it every 12 hours. How much should he be given or how much should he be given in a single dose? Now, the way we deal with this first is we have to work out how much medication they have to get for the day. Okay, so this child weighs 23 kilograms, okay, uh, and they're getting 8 milli uh, micrograms per kilogram. So, this, if we multiply this, this 8 by 23, we're going to get the answer of 184. So, during the day, this kid should get 184 micrograms of this um, medication, digoxin, dioxin, or whatever. Um, now, they're going to get this 12 hourly, so if they get this 12 hourly, you can imagine this, there are 24 hours in a day, and 12 hourly, that means they're going to get it twice for the day, okay, that makes sense, maybe you're giving it at 6 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, in the evening, and then 6 o'clock in the morning, but 12 hourly, every 12 hours is twice a day, hopefully you see that, because 24 divided by 12 equals 2. Okay, this is a really important little thing to get. So, if you're working on how much should be given in a single dose, you should realise that the, that, the, that the kid's getting uh, two doses all up, they're getting it every 12 hours, so we divide our answer here by two. Okay, so that means the kid should get 92 micrograms every uh, dose. Okay, just be very, very careful with this because there's a tendency of people I've noticed to actually uh, divide by 12 automatically, you know, but that's not the case. Okay. Okay. A child weighing 18.5 kilograms is prescribed sodium valproate, 10 milligrams per kilogram per day in three doses. How much should be given in a single dose? So first off, we're going to work out uh, how much this kid should get for the day. Okay. 18.5 kilograms, 10 milligrams per kilogram. You might be able to work that out. And then we're going to split this over three doses. Okay. So the way we do this is as follows. First off, let's work out their medication for the day. So they're getting 10 milligrams, and they're getting this for every kilogram they have. So they have 18.5 kilograms. So all up, this kid is getting 185 milligrams of this sodium valproate. So we're splitting this over three dosages. So to do that, we're dividing our answer by three, okay? Before in the other question we had, we were uh, so it was by the hour. This is actually already split into the amount of dosages you're getting. So we're just dividing by three. Uh, 185 divided by three is 61.67 milligrams. Okay. Let's have a look at another one. A 75 kilogram patient is ordered medication six milligrams per kilogram per day to be given every four hours. What medication should they get? each dose. So first off again work out how much medication they're getting for the day. Uh, they're getting uh, 6 milligrams and they're getting this for every kilogram. There's 75 kilograms so all up they should be getting 450 milligrams of said medication uh, and this is to be given every four hours. Now this for every four hours uh, this is not telling us the amount of doses they're getting it's just telling us how often they're getting it. So the amount of doses per day is going to be 24 divided by how many four hour lots there are the answer is 6 ok so 450 divided by 6 this each one of these 6 doses this uh, person should be getting 75 milligrams ok lucky last question a child weighing 18.5 kilograms is prescribed oh, I can't even say this one erythromycin <laughs> 30 milligrams per kilograms per day 6 hourly 
how much should be given in a single dose? Okay, let's again work out how much this kid should be given per day. So we go 30 milligrams. We're times this by 18.5 because that's how much uh, kilograms they are. And we get this answer of um, 555 milligrams. Hooray. So this is how much this kid's getting per day. They're getting this much every six hours. So every six hours, you might be able to already work this out in your head, every six hours, 24 divided by six means they're gonna get four doses for the day. So we're doing it over four doses. So we divide this number by four. We get the answer of 138.8 milligrams for every dose. Okay, how'd you go with those? Okay, they're not too bad. It's just a little tweak, a little something which is worth knowing. I uh, hope you did really good with those. Anyway, I'll see you next time.